Nice to see you again, and welcome back to today's vlog. Now you may be wondering, Pascal, <laughs> Pascal, why aren't you at the studio? Well, today is a we're gonna do things a bit different. So I was thinking today, in today's vlog, we're gonna invite you to come along in a day with Pascal. And what a day with Pascal means is just. I'm gonna show you what an apprentice that works at Sinus Inc. does every day. <laughs> so it's actually the weekend right now. Usually I'm off designing, but you know, that's the thing when you love your job. <laughs> you sneak in some work even in the weekend. So we actually going to the studio really soon. I'm uh, gonna tattoo a really nice guy. We started a Odin piece, uh, I think it was two weeks ago and I was so excited to continue, we just booked in a time. And we'll see how it healed. I think, if I remember correctly, we stopped in a pretty weird place. Like, I think we started on his on his face. Anyways, we'll, <laughs> I haven't had my coffee, okay? <laughs> Don't blame me. But before we go, I'm just gonna talk about something important that I always kind of um, have to do before I start my day. Before I go to work. I mean, okay, let's rewind. There is something very important to understand with me and, you know, with what I do. So, I tattoo. I tattoo. And for me, tattooing is so incredibly fun. But it's also very, very um, important to know that what we do is gonna be on people's bodies wherever. And I actually, that's something I really love because in my mind, there's not a lot of things that are forever, but tattoo, tattoos are. And can I make something on a person that they will have for the rest of their lives? Before I became an apprentice, I always, I was always up very, very late to draw. I loved it. When everyone was sleeping, I was up drawing with underwear, chocolate, you know, hot chocolate in my hand, three in the morning, just drawing, loved it. So I'm not really a morning person, but now I have to become one. So to be at my absolute sharpest every day, I'm actually doing some routines in the morning before I go to work. Because I've been, I've tried, when I came to centers, I tried to pretty much maximize my sleep. I still get a lot of sleep, like eight hours plus. It's just that I was going to bed late and I was going up pretty early. So I would wake up maybe 10 minutes before I actually had to leave. And that kind of like gave me a bad start. And for me at least, it gave me a kind of like uphill battle during the day like it was always like hard to like kind of get into the like the rhythm of being awesome <laughs> so i realized i had to change something and i was actually you know i i looked up on youtube like everyone had morning routines you need to drink five smoothies you need to do five hours of yoga and you need to do this, and this you know i was like oh shit i can't do this <clears throat> but <laughs> What I realized is that I had to come up with something that would fit me and my needs. Um, so before I go to work, I do three things. I, first of all, take a cold shower. I don't know if I can swear, but that wakes me the F up. <laughs> um, it's a very good tool, I think. It's a very good, uh, it's a very healthy one. Uh, I know there's studies showing that it's good for your health, but uh, it wakes you up. It also makes me win my first battle of the day because when I wake up, when I go out of my bed, my warm bed, and go to the to to the um, the bathroom, and that cold the, you know that cold water gets on, it's if I can get in in there, it's uh, it's a win. I I also do meditations. Um, I have an app called Calm, which I use as a guided meditation every day. They have a really, you know, wide range of different guided meditations, um, you know, calm music, 
and stuff like that. And it's really good. You sit there for 10 minutes and they pretty much tell you to focus on your breath. They tell you to be in the present moment. And after that cold shower, it kind of grounds me. So I go up and then a little bit down to really, you know, be centered in what's happening and be focused. I love that. It's amazing. And the third and last thing I do is I write in my journal. And what I write is pretty much what I want. But it's usually about the goals or, you know, what I'm gonna do today, if I feel a bit nervous, if I feel excited, if I, you know, just, just write it out. Because when you have thoughts in your head, it can be sometimes hard to understand it, you know, yourself. It gets foggy, you don't really know. It's like chaos sometimes, at least for me. And um, if I write my thoughts down, I can kind of see them from a third uh, person perspective and it kind of gets more manageable. You kind of start your day with just, you know, you plan everything out and you're ready to go. You know exactly what you're gonna do and the, one, the, the time you put your foot outside the door, it's, it's game. <laughs> it's game time. <laughs> I mean game time, okay? All right, so now that we are done with that, the only thing we have to do now before we leave is to drink a large glass of water and then we are ready to take on the day. Woo! Woo All right, we are ready to finally leave the home. We prepared, we are ready to go, and what a nice day, huh? It's a nice Sunday, we're at the studio, and a little, little bird whispered to me that Mr. Gilwood is always also gonna be there. We'll see, we'll see. So this is actually the nice thing about living where I live now. When I came to Denmark, I lived actually downtown, which, which was nice, but I lived 30, 35 minutes away from the studio. Now, hoo -hoo, I live approximately two minutes from the studio, which is absolutely heaven. <laughs> like I'm late to the party but like they say better late than never so before we start tattooing um, we need this and for me coffee is a beautiful gift from God I think coffee is a sign that you know God loves humanity first one is always so good. So my client will be here really soon, so I have to put up my station and we'll get going. Let's go! All right, so we're standing here with the one and only Rasmus. As you can see, he's a descendant of the Vikings. I'm not. Uh, we're working on this Odin piece and you can take, take a close look at this. As you can see, it's very much work in progress. We got the beer done uh, last time and we are working up towards the face. Uh, the, the, his, uh, his left chin is not entirely done, obviously. Uh, we're gonna try to work as steadily as possible with going to the nose and the other way, other one. And um, now we're just gonna put on the stencil and get going. Let's go Sunday, woo! <laughs> So, 
would say we pretty much hit the right marks. It was actually, that's yeah, perfect. So now we're just gonna let that dry and then it's tattoo time. All right, so as you can see, I'm putting on the black gloves. That means we are ready to start. Uh, we have a lot of work in front of us, but that also means we have a lot of fun times ahead of us. So we can just, you know, give you an update soon. Uh, and show you when I tattoo, you know, when I do the magic. Let's go. <laughs> Back to Pascal's corner. No, I'm just kidding. So we are. <laughs> we've been tattooing for a couple of hours now, and um, we're feeling fresh. We're feeling great, amazing. Uh, we have gone over the um, his left side again, and we have also uh, done his nose, which is gonna be, which was fun to do. We are gonna continue on. That's his right side now. And uh, yeah, it's we're having a great time. Great stuff, you know, making the Sundays the best time of the whole week. Hell yeah, let's go. Hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so, so we've been at it for a while now. Um, we are, everyone is hungry. You're hungry, I am hungry. She's hungry. You're probably hungry too. So you can see that we've been at it. We've been uh, putting in the other cheek now. I'm still going to put in some texture like here just to, you know, really tighten everything up. But we're getting somewhere and it's really fun to see uh, the development of the whole thing. Um, it's really looking like a, like older now, not just a stencil. So we're gonna go eat and you guys are actually come go. La, 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 la. You guys are actually coming along. <laughs> All right, so we've been really at it, as I told you guys, and we are going to eat to just rejuvenate ourselves and get some food in the stomach, new energy, so we can fight for a couple hours more. Yes. Nice case. Thank you. All right, so we just got the food and we are ready to dig in. Well-deserved food. Um, yeah, and then we're just gonna continue tattooing like bosses. Woo, let's go. the first day out of two and as you can see we um, made that part <laughs> made that part made that part and just you know snuck up a little bit to the forehead not too much because you know we gotta save some surprises for tomorrow as well but I think today went well he's been a champ he deserves <laughs> Odin on his arm I'm super happy with the result so far um, I can't really say much more to be honest. It's 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 been a pleasure, right? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm not paying him to say that. <clears throat> that wraps up at least a tattoo session for today. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog anymore later, but we'll see. Pascal out! Oh,
All right, so we are home. And you know, today's been crazy as usual. It's, uh, you know, I'm always thinking about that. And as I said in my videos before, or at least the video where I'm, I, I talk about my, um, my uh, how I got to sinners, I always thought that having a job was something, you know, you should just bear, bear with. Um, I never thought you could actually enjoy work so much and at the same time actually surviving on it. I think it's just amazing. And, you know, Rasmus, uh, that tattoo today is just, you know, a fantastic sample. We just had a blast. You know, it was just, the whole day was just fun. And plus, I guess tattoo. So I pretty much get to sit there, tattoo that I l absolutely love, and I get to hang out with people for a living. You know, I, I, I think it's just mind blowing in my, in my head. And even though I've been tattooing for five months so far, it still baffles me that I get to do this for the rest of my life. I may be a bit, you know, ah, over the edge, over the top uh, when I'm explaining this, but it's just, for me, it's such a cool thing. So um, I, I just gotta say that I'm super happy to do what I do. And I'm actually really happy um, of, you know, showing you guys what I did today. Uh, I hope I could portray it in a good way and I hope you found it uh, entertaining. And I would love to do these more. Uh, you know, my, <laughs> I would say my days aren't so different, but you know, I would, I would say that it could be fun to show more projects and, you know, more morning routines and stuff like that. I don't know. Oh, well. I'm tired. I'll need to go to bed and get some beauty sleep. <laughs> Thank you once again for coming along on the day of Paschal. See you in the next vlog. Woo bam! No, wait, I have to. Bam!